Hi and welcome to Belle's Books. My name is Isabel and I am 19 years old and I'm currently studying English Lit at the University of York in England. Um, I really love reading and I wanted to share that love with the internet in some way so I've decided to make this YouTube channel. So today I'm just going to share with you guys four books that I have read recently um, or reread recently um, in the case of one of them and I really enjoyed. Okay, so we have Purple Hibiscus, Americana, The Other Side of Truth, and What It Means When a Man Falls from the Sky. So these four books are all set in Nigeria, which is why I've kind of decided to talk about them in the same video. Okay, so the first book I'm going to talk about is Americana. Americana is about a young Nigerian woman called Ifemelu who writes a blog about race in America. So Ifemelu moved to America about 10 years before the start of this story. And the story works really well to intertwine the past and the present. So her story before she came to America and the events that led her to come to America and her story now in America. Her objective throughout the book is she wants to move back to Nigeria from America and you kind of follow her like train of thought and flashbacks um, kind of to what got her to America as she like moves back to Nigeria from America. So it's quite interesting. You do get other perspectives as well. And altogether, it's a really engaging story. So thematically, there's a lot of like Americanization um, being talked about in the story and kind of whether or not that's a good or a bad thing and like the consequences of it for Ifemelu. And there's also a lot about immigration and migration, obviously, and you kind of get some insight into the political situation in Nigeria in like a post-colonial society, which I found really interesting because I don't know about you guys, anyone who's watching this, but I haven't really studied much of African history post-colonially. So that was quite interesting because it kind of gave you a very direct and impactful perspective on it. So the next book I want to talk about is Purple Hibiscus, also by the same author. Um, I actually have this book with me. And yeah, the cover is super pretty. Much, it's very emotionally engaging. Like it's almost cathartic in like how you engage with the text. Like you read it and you get absorbed into it immediately. You get absorbed into the plight of Kambili, who is the main character. She's 15 years old and she has an abusive father who's physically and emotionally abusing her brother, her and her mother. And you just kind of immediately get thrown into this story. And kind of, once you pick it up, you can't really put it down. And it was, it was really painful to read almost. And kind of explored the way that religion impacts the lives of people in Nigeria and like the conflict between animist beliefs and Catholicism. And yeah, it's, it was just very interesting because it kind of exposed me to a completely new thing. It was so sad though. It's, it's written in first person, so it's very immersive. And yeah, I just really recommend it. And just because it's from the perspective of a 15 year old girl in Nigeria, doesn't mean that it's inaccessible, which is something I really liked about this book. Like it's exposing you to a completely different situation than anyone, than, than, mo than me most people will ever have experienced. Um, but not in a way that kind of shuts you out and doesn't let you emotionally connect with and understand. So the next book I want to talk about is The Other Side of Truth. So this is actually a children's book. Um, so it's about these two children, Shade Soleja and her brother Femi. And their father is a journalist. He says some things, he's outspoken, and basically the situation escalates and the two siblings are forced to flee to... Um, England and they're all on their own. Their father is still in Nigeria. So it's kind of about their struggle with social services in England, settling into school and kind of living there but also desperately wanting to get their father back and missing their family. It's really sad but it also deals with childlike issues. For example, that the children are bullied at school and kind of explores them having to deal with that at the same time as dealing with this greater weight of the trauma that they've basically taken from Nigeria. I, I, yeah, I really found the way that they tied together like the um, traditional child narrative with like um, the Nigerian political refugee situation um, because 
neither one was kind of pushed to the side or like said to be less important which I think which I think is quite interesting it is a children's book but I'd also say if you're older um and you're interested in reading about Nigeria or, or reading something a little different from usual I would say read this book because you will get a lot out of it so the last book I'm going to talk about is what it means when a man falls from falls from the sky and honestly I could devote a whole video to this book itself because it is of course a collection of short st stories and um they're quite sad they're heartbreaking so there's a lot of themes of grief and like heartbreak and sadness and um, also recurringly there's like themes brought up about missing a parent and like um generations being like torn apart by um opinion and ideas my favorite was the short story what it means when a man falls from the sky um that one was set in a world full of climate change and conflict and war and it just had a very futuristic element which i quite enjoyed kind of tying together like the past like the political situation in nigeria and the effects of that um but in a very futuristic way so some of the short stories are more like real life young people are making mistakes and bad things happen to them and then there are stories where they're kind of punished by their parents or elders in their community for that and then there are like other stories which are futuristic and like magical but i would say that the main themes from this book were um a desire to kind of please your parents or parental figures and also perseverance in what would be an otherwise completely negative situation so the perseverance of these characters is what made me really enjoy this book because i think otherwise it would have just been heartbreakingly sad so yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope maybe you have an idea of something really good to read bye